Hi, greetings all, and welcome back to Globit's Gaming Channel. This is my second how-to video on World of Warships. Right? It's from a basic, limited experience. Obviously, I understand that I'm not the master of the PS de Resistance of this game. I haven't been an alpha tester, I haven't been in it long enough, but it's just my basic tips and tricks to help you all right, with your World of Warships gameplay. All right, well, we're going to look at destroyers today. Okay, now destroyers are ridiculously quick. They're very fast, very maneuverable ships, and they do one thing very well annoy the hell out of the enemy team. They have absolutely no health. Alright, just to put this into perspective, 8,900, a comparable battleship, okay, with its guns, Miyogi for example, its guns on an armor penetrating hit will one-shot you. Alright, if you get hit by a battleship, you're going to get dis absolutely wrecked. Also, cruisers as well are a problem to you, but speed is your key. Alright, it's not about the armor, it's not about the hit points. Some people uh, liken these uh, ships to light tanks um, in World of Tanks. They are and they're not. Um, for the guns my armament, we've got 402mm guns, which in the classic thing of naval combat isn't that great. All right, But they do traverse quite well. They turn really well. Uh, that's one thing you do need to be aware of um, when you're piloting or uh, sailing these ships, especially in the Japanese line, we'll come to the Japanese line in a minute, um, the traverse speed on the Japanese guns is slower than the hull traverse, which basically means you can't keep the guns pointing on target. The American cruisers are different. Main two differences between Japanese and American cruisers, American cruisers are a little bit more about the guns and less about the torpedoes. The torpedoes on an American uh, destroyer have a range of 4.5 kilometers and they're not very fast 148 knots isn't very fast if you go to the um, Japanese um, destroyers which I've had experience with their torpedoes have a 7 kilometer range which is nearly double um, and they travel a hell of a lot faster now for me there's two kinds of play styles with destroyers this thing these things the American ones are supposed to be peppering the enemy with fire and they launch their torpedoes when the enemy get close all right, as like a, a close-ranged weapon, if you like. That's what I tend to use them for. The Japanese can launch longer torpedo salvos. The, what your job is, is to basically go nail enemy battleships and also um, protect your team with a smoke screen. So you're supposed to go kill the big slow things. Um, and also, you can help out with other destroyers as well. That's your main job. Now, battleships can't manoeuvre very fast, so your torpedoes are absolutely deadly to battleships. But, as you can tell by the American ones, it means you need to get between within 4.5 kilometers of them which is hard it's difficult you need terrain you need to use the hills and you need to use your smoke screen effectively the torpedoes are actually quite powerful there's four triple tubes so it can fire 12 torpedoes but this right hand bank only shoots to the right hand side of the ship and this bank only shoots to the left hand side of the ship but okay its maneuverability is ridiculous okay 3.5 seconds for the order to go completely from starboard to port, and it's got a very, very tight turning circle. 510 meters might seem like a lot, but when you compare it to a battleship, okay, battleship's maneuverability is nearly double, and its rudder takes an absolute age to switch from one side to the other. So you can sort of jink your ship and fire a whole 12 torpedoes in one go, and that is just that's death for things at this tier. It's ridiculous. Um, concealment is also your weapon. If you're going to play destroyers, you need to be aware of this figure here. Surface ships, 6.7 kilometers before they can see you. Remember what we looked at the home and in the last video? That thing's got a surface definition of 13.5. Okay. They're so hard to see. These ships are so hard to see. If you get within 6.7 kilometers, you've got another kilometer and a half before you can deploy your torpedoes. During that time, you need to deploy in smoke. All right, to try and cover yourself. Um, air detectability range is 3.1 kilometers. You struggle to see these things until they're right on top of you. The advantage between the Japanese destroyers and the Americans is that their concealability is pretty much the same, but their torpedo range is a lot longer than the Americans. So what the Japanese can do is fire torpedoes at you, and you never see them. Um, you just see the torpedoes in the water when they're about a kilometer from your ship, and then boom. So... It's a lot faster gameplay. Now, I pretty much suck at playing destroyers. I'm not going to lie. Um, but we're going to go into a game anyway. Let's get ourselves into a game and see how we get on. There's quite a few people on here. Right, we're going to cut it here just in case the, uh, the queue takes forever. Fantastic. It didn't take too long at all. It's kept it nice lower tier, which is good. There's a couple of Omaha uh, cruisers, which we know are quite powerful. A couple of Koachi battleships. 
they have an independence aircraft carrier we have two langley's so it's pretty much well we'll see how the air battle goes anyway so get into the game just double check we've got quite a few battleships hardly any cruisers this is good news for a destroyer what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically hang around the islands to my front here that i'm looking at and i'm going to put it full speed ahead now you just notice how quickly this thing accelerates now quickly isn't you know <laughs> comparable term all right it's doing 15 knots already very very fast what i'm going to do is i'm going to initially going to start spotting remember my engagement range my concealability is six kilometers but it's you, your ships don't have a view range like they do in world of tanks okay the view range is determined by the ship's concealability so if i see for example the omaha which i know has a 13 kilometer uh, spotting distance he won't see me, I'll see him. It's not like World of Tanks where you have each individual vehicle has a view range, uh, which is really, really handy. Um, the torpedo tubes and the turrets move as same as you look. You need to be aware of this when you're playing. If you're looking over here, the guns start to traverse. So if you quickly check over here, but you want to be shooting something over there, hold the right mouse button. All right. Hold the right mouse button, and it stops the guns moving. All right. So let's have a bit of a look. Down here now the oh hang on ship's bloody turning ah that's not right anyway I wouldn't actually do that guys that was the game anyway the guys in the chat have recommended that we have somebody on the left um, by the looks of it they're right because not many things have come this way um. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, the jokers are real. Okay, we're going to have a little scoot round here. Remember, six kilometres. We're going to go around the island. And if we get seen, then we're just going to pop smoke. Haven't seen anything just yet. Now, we've got a Nicholas and a Tatsuta support of us. Now, there's an enemy battleship. Not going to go and engage him just yet. Going to have a scoot round this island and see what we can see. I'm expecting to push this way. This is a domination map. Um, I have this map quite a lot in domination, and there's always a big push of cruisers and things. All right. This way, which is problematic for a destroyer, because I'm at quite long range. Yeah, there we go. I haven't been spotted, though. All right, I'm only going to get spotted if I fire. That's an Omaha class. That is St. Louis. All right, problems. So... Let's put a spreader... No, I'm not going to even bother putting a spreader torpedo down. I could do. Oh, I need to reload to AP, actually, for these two. Now, I'm going to let them hit this Tatsuya. Alright, I'm not going to think about engaging those two. They've got far too many guns for me to be dealing with. Alright, my guns are in range. I'm going to fire a quick salvo. That's a ranging salvo. Managed to do two hits, but I'm behind the mountain straight away. Now, they will have spotted me. What I'm going to do now is provide smoke cover. Pop smoke. Which means I can bridge between these two islands. Now, I can't help the fact that our cruiser has died. There's no way I could have prevented that at all. Alright, I'm just going to bug out of here. I need to get the hell out of Dodge. Alright, and I'm going to go get involved over here. I might go down and try and nail that battleship if I can. With some torpedoes. He is 13 kilometers away. I've popped smoke. And what smoke does basically means that nobody can see through it. My spotting distance gets reset. All right, they can't see it. I'm just going to mooch out to the open, to the open water. I'm going to go support the right side. I'm not going to bother on this left side. And this is the thing about destroyers: you can actually do this, you can do this very effectively um, because of their speed. Um, you need to be aware of the speed. Now the smoke's finished, as you can see there. I've left behind quite a smoke trail. Hopefully, giving this destroyer something to hide in to try and get away. That wasn't my initial intention. My initial intention was to cover my own retreat. All right, but this this battleship will not be able to see me now if i fire at this battleship he will pretty much instantly spot me and basically annihilate me for the simple reason i'm the only thing he can see if he was to come this way though i would turn towards him all right but he's not he's sailing towards the right hand side i do need to keep bugging out though again keep an eye on the kilometer distance of the enemy vessels it seems like i'm being very passive here but believe me if you get hit you're dead you are so dead Right, there's a massive knot of ships over there. 
There's an enemy destroyer. He's what I need to go and kill. I need to finish him off. I haven't really got the range on him just yet. But he is sailing into open water. And he's got support of a battleship, so I need to turn and get distance from him. Remember, 6.7 kilometers. And he is a Clemson, so he can... Now look at the damage he's taking there from that cruiser. Prime example. He's engaging a cruiser, which is fine. It's his job. But the cruiser's absolutely wrecking him. It's caused him mobility damage. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some rounds in to try and kill him, if I can. Try and hit him. Nope. Missed, unfortunately. Now the Clemson's basically going to wreck him. But, again, I've got distance from the enemies. Right. Oh, they, can still, they can see me now. But I've got distance. I'm going to put a range of shots in there. See if they hit him. I doubt they will. If they do, they'll kill him. No, I need to give him more lead. There. Just basically putting some rounds in. Yes, I am playing very passively, and I know it's not very entertaining. But believe me, it will get entertaining once I get into the match. Okay. So let's go and try and... Still steaming at full power. Quite a lot of stuff happening on the far side. You need to be situationally aware when you're playing destroyers. I've said that before. So I'll say it again. Did our cruiser just die? So it's being situationally aware. Yeah, I think he did. Alright, I need to think about going down and helping out down here. We're sailing along. Okay. Let's push the right side with these guys, I think. Cut through the islands here. Go through the right side. Try and get behind. What I'm going to try and do is get behind here. Okay. That's where all the battle's going on. Oh, why are you turning? This is one thing. I don't know why ships keep turning. They turn without you wanting them to, without pressing the direction of these. Shit. Okay. Hopefully I might miss these planes. These planes may not see me. Point. Uh oh. Yep, I'm spotted. I'm in trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble because that guy's heading straight, steaming straight towards me. What I need to do now is I need to turn into him. Turn in and engage. Let's get close. He is a cruiser. His job is to kill me. He has got the firepower and the guns to do it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a torpedo salvo at him. Two torpedo salvos even. See, so the damage I'm taking. Switch this side. trouble here boys and girls. I'm in big, 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 big trouble. Hopefully you won't see the torpedoes. Please don't be paying attention. Please don't be paying attention. Please don't be paying attention. Yes, torpedo hits. Torpedo hits are good. Torpedo hits are real. There we go. However, that's a battleship. No, it's a cruiser. I need to get the hell out of here. Smoke. Get the feck out of dodge. Hopefully these shots miss. Please miss, please miss, please miss. No, don't run aground! No, 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 no. Now, he won't be able to see me do that. So hopefully, he won't have seen the fact that I've... Or, or has he? Yep, he has. Nope. He thinks I'm turning towards him, which I'm not. I'm getting the hell out of dodge. Pop smoke. Getting the hell out of here. Sail away as fast as possible. Okay. Oh! Managed to get a lucky hit on me at the end. Okay. That is how you play destroyers really, really badly, guys, okay? I personally think that was the right thing to do there. I got caught out in the open by those jets, uh, the jets, the planes. There's not really a great deal else we could have done there. So what's happening on this side? Well, our Kawachi is undamaged. Um, and he's basically sailing away from the enemy battleships for some bizarre reason. Because our guys are outnumbered now. I managed to get cruisers behind them and a battleship behind them. Uh, he needs to shoot the low health guys. Shoot... Low health ships. Kill the low health ones. Take their guns out of the game. Come on, you're on fire. Put yourself out. Come on, what are you doing? Arr. We'll get to battleships and uh, aircraft carriers later. Shoot the low health ones. It seems like he's listening. Shoot the low health cruiser. I now see. Reload every 30 seconds. Huge problem. I think that. Yeah, that guy's been taken out by him. This guy needs to take out the battleships. 
Oh, fire those big booming guns. Bang, 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 bang. Tit him. Tit him again. Oh, it's not going to be enough. Oh, the torpedo bombers are going to get him. If this aircraft carrier player is any good, the torpedo bombers are going to wreck him. Congo does have some air defence, uh, but it's not amazingly good. Uh, this guy needs cruiser support, really. Doing the right thing. If ever you're coming up against torpedo bombers and you're in a ship, what you need to do is point either the arse or your nose of the ship at the torpedo bombers. All right? It's very, very difficult for them to actually get broadside torpedoes on you if you keep turning your arse to them. He's doing the right thing here. They are going to end up getting a run-in on him, but if he points his arse towards him, he can avoid the torpedoes. Oh, this guy's going to drop... Ah, we've got fighters in. Well done, carrier player. Well done, defensive carrier play. Turn to the left. Turn to the left. Turn to the left. You can't outrun them. Turn to the left. And what he's basically doing here is threading between the two torpedo salvos. Now, the battleships have reached... Oh, he's killed him. He's managed to kill him. Will he get hit by the torpedo? No. Good. Good. Good play. Well played, this carrier driver. What's your name? Shoza. <laughs> this will be on YouTube. Shoza. It's epic. He's still fighting off torpedo planes, which are getting absolutely nailed by the uh, friendly fighters. Bang, 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 bang. Done, done. Dun. Good. He has got a Miyogi and a St. Louis side of him though. Look how slow these guns actually turn around. My, it's turn around so inexorably slowly, it's ridiculous. I don't think he realises that you don't need to uh, look at the planes. <sighs> Shoot the Myogi. Don't look at the planes. Your turrets will turn. Yeah, you need to be turning, thinking about when your next engagement is. There we go. Boom. Good shots. Good hits. Hopefully good hits. We are running low on uh, ships, however. This guy's on bingo health. We need to rely on our carrier. There we go. He is actually listening as well. Hopefully we can guide him through. Oh, he's going to get hit. He's going to get shot. Oh, he managed to avoid most of that salvo. He's going to struggle, though, against this Myogi. I think he's also... now he's in a Congo, but still, the Myogi's on near enough full health. He has got more guns. Where's our destroyer? That's what I want to know. Where's the friendly destroyer? Okay, you, you're nowhere near where you need to be. But it's all good. The Nicholas is a very, very powerful destroyer, by all accounts. Okay. Yeah, he's all busted up. And I think that's it for the game. I don't think we're going to win. Um, as soon as this battleship dies, we'll call it an end. I think this guy's going to go for more hits like that. Yep. That's the end of him. Never mind. He did respond really well. He dodges those torpedoes very, very well. There we go. Hopefully get a new sub from that. So there we go. I don't think that game is going to be a win. But that is the basic way the Globs plays Destroyers. Uh, you have to think ahead when you're playing Destroyers. And you have to think about where you're going to be and what you're going to do, etc. It's very, very difficult um, when you're trying to shoot stuff. But I think I did okay. I managed to kill one ship. That's all good, right? <laughs> anyway, coming up next on the next video, I'm going to discuss Battleships. And I'll catch you next time. Bye now.